internally connecting the two. Hmm. Where's the last lightning? Lightning, where are you? Where the heck is it? I need a hint. Oh, wow. Now I see it. Mary's spirit was pulled into the crow mirror. Her soul is locked inside, so I can't give the ring back to her, allowing us to reunite. Eternal bliss is broken. The crow mirror is hidden by darkness, which can only be cleared away with magic heat. Clear the darkness to see Mary. Give the ring to her, and I'll release you from the tavern. So his way to basically repent is to force somebody else to do his dirty work. Interesting. Well, we have no choice. We must take Mary's ring. And give it to Mary. Looks like we got a lantern here that we're gonna run away with. Family album. Wow, what a beautiful couple. They look like the perfect couple. The wedding of Thomas and Mary Brown. Lenore Mary Brown, three months old. Aww. Happy eighth birthday to our beloved daughter. Lenore looks a lot like her mother. Somebody doodled on this page. Let's put our sweet 16 picture here. It seems like I must shine a particular light on the mirror itself. The crow mirror, a gift to the Brown family from the Goldstein citizens. According to legend, when this mirror is illuminated by fiery spirits, it will reveal the ghost of someone who has died near the mirror. What are these symbols? What kind of crazy chest has got a dragon on it? Or a bird. Pterodactyl. Okay, it looks like a code. How do I get the code? Or I just have to memorize it, maybe. It almost like a window to another world. Clear the darkness from the crow mirror and give Mary the ring. Yes, I am uh, definitely enjoying the game so far. Oh. Okay. True, true. He is tied to the bar. He can't cross over himself. You're right. And if he has conducted this test and no one else has previously been able to do it, that's kind of sad in its own way. Oh, I wasn't watching. Oh my gosh, stop. Wow. Hey! <laughs> Woo! That was actually random lucky. What is this? What the heck are we looking at here? Whispers, please. Looks like this is what we're trying to build here. Man, those whispers are loud. Let's see here. I don't know if it's a sliver. Boom! We did it. It was basically the opposite of that. Okay, we just let something go. I don't know if we're supposed to. Um. Hi, flaming heads. I could use these for light if I can catch them. Very action-y. Lock them up. Fiery lantern. Wow. I think we're gonna need that over here anyways. Oh! I believe that would be the mirror. I believe that is the mirror. And we got Glitter. Nice. Shard 12. 
Now, I don't believe that uh, ERS slash Amex puts uh, morphing objects in here. Don't believe. Now, where am I writing here? It's made out of crystal, how odd. Is it really that odd? I think it's neat that the lantern sits over here while we do this. That's kind of a nice touch. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing with this quill? Uh, let's see here. Too dark to see. Uh, oh, looks like we gotta draw that. Now it's nice and bright. No, I've this was my first Edgar Allan Poe game, and I'm super excited to uh, share this with all you folks. So happy to have you here with me. And uh, so far, you know, I've I've had a uh, love for ERS games, and uh, I'm kind of happy to finally get a chance to play this one. Looks like we're going to be rebuilding the uh, mirror shards. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of shards. Wow. Okay. Let's see if that goes there. Interesting. I'm not sure if there's a color, or if there's any meaning to the color here. Like, this looks like this belonged on the left here. I need something that belongs down here. Something a little darker. Coming together nicely. That was probably at the very top. So was that. Hmm. No such luck. There is a ton of pieces here, and the fact that they're all overlapping just makes this more challenging. Here, let's just move it up a little bit. Oh, I can actually move it up just a little bit. That's cool, actually. Oh wow, this mirror is huge. The music is really nice. Very thematic. Let's see, what about this one? Looks like none of those. Okay, let's try this piece. That is definitely a thing. You know, what makes this more challenging is just all these bits overlapping here. Wow. Ah. You just got home from the mall. You have missed maybe 20 minutes so far. We are trapped in this inn or tavern. And uh, we have to help a ghost to get out of the tavern. Let's see here, that piece probably goes there. Right now we're basically just repairing the mirror to get to the, the lady, the lady ghost. Put those up there. Okay, this is all good. Coming together nicely. Typically how puzzles work. Jigsaw puzzles, I mean. You know, the further in you get, the easier it gets. Yay! Hello! Hello, here is your wedding ring, but maybe we can look at her first. This must be the beloved Mary. I believe this ring belongs to her. There you go. Eternal love. Thank you, mortal. Now we can leave this world and find peace. And you can leave this cursed place and meet your employer. This is a map of the underground smuggler's maze. It leads into the city. And one more thing. Please do not hurt our girl Lenore, no matter what. Private Hop 
Hopper and Lawless Fear. Thank you so much for the follows today. Thank you, thank you. So we are looking for a map. The Underground Smugglers Maze. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. He didn't even bother to learn her name, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> Does that mean we're free? Whoa, dude. A promise is I a promise. I have the strangest yes. feeling. Like I've overslept. Ah, but you've completed our task. Let's go talk to our client. Seriously, is this all he's gonna do this whole episode is get Daphne the whole time? Speak to our client. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Don't move! Who are you? What did you do to him? Yeah, what did you do to him? Please, calm down. I'm Thomas Gullinger, the mayor of Goldstown. You must be the detectives I hired. Mm -hmm. I doubt anyone else would have the courage to enter the tavern and come out alive. Can you prove you're really the mayor? Now, we received a letter from the mayor at the very beginning of the game here. Of course. You received my letter, yes. The stamp matches my insignia. Okay. Let's have a closer look here at the letter. It looks pretty good, I guess. I see. I need to rearrange the symbol so it matches the seal on the letter. Wait, why do I have to do all this work? He's trying to prove himself as who he says he is. Shouldn't he do all this work? Oh well. Guess not. Now we can get down to business. I apologize for testing you. But I had to know you were the best. I'll answer any questions you have. What happened to this man? How do we know that's a man? He was dead when I found him. Oh, wow. There was a man in a crow mask near his body, but he ran off toward the cemetery when I approached. May we examine the body? Of course. I'm guessing his death is connected to the case you're here to investigate? I am guessing as well. Considering how these games work. Okay. Take that. The victim's name is Ariel Green. I hope we can find his murderer. Murderer. Take off his face or his mask. Oh, a leather box. Half a key. Do you have any more questions? Mm-hmm. Sure. What are the details of your case? Young people started disappearing in town recently. Police searches have turned up nothing. Three days ago, my own son, Alan, went missing. He's a wonderful, young, kind man. But yesterday, I received a threatening letter, apparently written by him. It is definitely his handwriting here. Mm. GT. Dear father, you must resign as mayor immediately and relinquish power to more capable people. If you do not do this by 10 p.m. on December 10th, there will be consequences. Those who will replace you are very powerful and dangerous. Do not speak to the police or call for help of any kind. If you value my life and your own, you must do as I say. And remember, they are always watching. It's like Alan. a ransom note, sort of, or like a blackmail note. Alright. Look at this scribbled signature, wow. 
Was Alan forced to write his own note, or did he write it willingly? We shouldn't rule anything out yet. The people he talks about. Hmm. It must be the Secret Crows League. They made him write this. I'm certain of it. The murderers marked with crow feathers must be their doing as well. But no one knows who they are. All I've managed to find out is where they meet. The theater. Goldstone Theater. Is that where we're going to next or are we going to go to the cemetery? Where's the theater? Unfortunately, you can't just walk into the city. They'll notice new faces right away and know I've called you. I suggest you use the old smuggler's passage that starts at the cemetery. That's all I know about it, so you should take a map with you. Here's the key to the gate. And please be careful. We will do that. It is crazy.